Hey, bless him on the Grateful Gap family. Welcome into the Grateful Gap family day. You know, here on Sunday, my wife and I, we join together. We speak about different topics. Um, this week's topic is going to be, um, you know, love languages and I guess how, you know, how you can learn that from, from one another and your partners, you know, your marriage or your relationship, whatever it may be. Um, but before we get into that, we're going to get directly into the daily verse. The daily verse for the day of May 7th, 2023, derives from the book of First Thessalonians. Chapter 5, verse 15, and it states as follows. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Amen. And again, it's from the book of First Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 15. And um, this morning, I let my wife start it off. That was, you know, that was her topic idea this morning for, for speaking. Um, so this is her. Go ahead. Well, I just want to talk about... Um what you say, smart? What you say right there? Most of them are not topics. But, um, you said most of them aren't your topics? Are. Well, <laughs> Anywho. Yeah. I want to talk about our love languages. Not just for like your spouse and yourself, but your kids' love languages also. And your parents. Like, learning to love people's love languages. Um, like, just do... Be a blessing to other people. Like, Make them happy sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Um, my husband and I, we we went through the love language test uh, countless times. But um, since we had kids and everything, it's like um, we, we we got new personalities around the house and different what? personalities. Like my husband yeah, is I'm different. My okay. each one of my daughters are very different. So we got to cater to each one of them different. Um, what is their love language? What makes them happy? Because that's important, um, especially with them growing up and learning life and everything. It's important for them to feel extra love and not just care for, but love, like feel the love, unconditional love and everything. And I noticed like with my, my Leia, she loves... Um, what do you think Leia's love um, language is? I think I would, words of affirmation yeah, she, and gifts. Yeah, she, yeah. Uh, they like, they, I think any kid loves gifts at, for, the, for the time of their love language. But yeah, Leia is, she's definitely, she's a delicate flower. All, uh, girls are period. I was just thinking about this earlier too. I was like, I think all dads should have girls, you know? Because me personally, like you said, it's just, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a learning experience, you know? You, you, you know, you learn from having a son or a daughter, but me as a man and, you know, trying to learn, like you said, how to be able to be gentle, how to be able to, you know, learn how my daughters receive information, how they, you know, how they reciprocate love or things of that nature. We tell them a lot. We love them. But, you know, I, I try to find a balance to be stern and, you know, like that soft, you know, loving dad, which I think I am anyway. But, you know, I just think all, you know, all, especially with our daughters, like my wife was saying, all of them have, you know, unique personalities and, they, you know, they all receive love in their own way, you know. Um, but Leia is definitely, mm, she's she's stern. Leia, she's she's a, she's a she's a stern love. You know, she's a real tough. Um, she's real tough. She wants to definitely be independent. She yeah, she wants to be able to. Uh, she wants to be um. This this is a big love thing for her. She wants to be told that she knows she's doing a good job. Like she's doing something good, and she knows like she she wants credit for it type of stuff. You know what I mean? So. As a parent, we definitely try to be able to, you know, encourage her as much as possible. Let them know that we're proud of them. You know, let them know that, you know, the things we see y'all doing is not for granted. You know, yeah, it's for y'all learning for who y'all are, you know, at themselves. That going into, you know, young kids, to young ladies, young women, all that type of stuff. But, you know, it's it's, it's our part as well to be able to, you know, let them know that we, we, we see their growth and we, we you know, we appreciate them and we love them. So, you know, that's always a good love language that anybody can have, you know, just genuine is to whoever you're caring for, you know, if it's your children, if it's your parents, if it's your spouse, you know, whoever it is that you, you know, you want to let them, let them know that you genuinely love them. So, yeah. What you think of the, the other two? I think Zuri, I think Zuri love language is physical contact. She love hugs. She, you know, like, you know, like, like yeah, when y'all left yesterday, I had, I had Gabriel hug. She's like, oh, my hug, you know, that type of, 
you know, she wants to be able to feel, you know, connected through, you know, a physical way. And even though she, she take, you know, like I said, we, we, we give them all the same type of, you know, the complimental, you know, encouraging type of love and stuff like that. But yeah, she is more of the, she's a, she's a, she, she's a, but she loves you. Like she, if she's comfortable with you, she's a the physical type, but she's not, if she don't know you, that type of stuff, she's very shy. She's away. So you have to be able to just show you who, you know, who you genuinely are with her, you know what I mean? Before she opens up to you. So, and then Skylar Bean. Definitely touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves being up on her mom. She used to it too. Look at her sisters right now. Look at them. They, you know, um, you know, they they definitely show a lot of uh, physical, you know, awareness and love. Like I said, they always up on her. They're, they're you know, hugging hugging each other constantly. Uh, constantly. My wife and I we show that as well too. You know, we we we, we started uh, getting methods in our family where you know we give hugs, you know, hourly or something like that. Every time you know, like hey, it's hug time or something like that. You know, we just. Just try to show our way, you know, our love and affection for one another in different ways. Get your feet off her, and then we, um, you know, we we definitely, you know, tell each other we love, you know, love one another, you know, countless times a day. Um, like I said, this is a genuine action that we do. You know, you can you can show love language a lot of different ways, but it's definitely important to, you know, understand your wife or, or your partner's love language, whoever you it is love language. You know, what I mean, especially from your parents. You know, if they like. You know, you could tell growing up, you know, if they like gifts or you know, they work hard and nobody really never did anything, they felt like I never did nothing for them, you know. Sometimes it's nice to, to receive stuff or show people, you know, have give people reminders of, hey, that was real nice of this person. I can use this or be, be benefited from this type of stuff. So love language is just, you know, like, like like it says, it's another language, you know. You can learn languages. You can, you know, master languages. You can do a lot of different stuff. But Most you know. of all, with the word love, God is love. Yes. So I just want to share that with everyone. I want to be more like Jesus, more like Him. You know what I'm saying? Like just spread love. The world needs it. It's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, you know, just the prayers going out to Texas and you know, just anywhere around the world that's been having mass shootings or any type of you know anything that has brought uncomfort and sadness and evilness into the into that you know the area you are so you know just pray for your neighbors pray for yourselves pray for the people around you you know um like my wife just tried like my wife just said you know treat everybody with love you know if you don't love if you believe in god and you don't love the person to the left or right of you regardless you know, of whatever yeah you don't you don't you know you don't have god in your heart because god you know god created all of us equally you know what i mean and we have to be able to love our neighbors and that doesn't mean the person that you know you're standing next to that thy neighbor is the person that's next to you you know when you're crossing paths and you know the people that's around you god woke up a lot of people today on this earth you know what i mean a lot of people didn't make it but we all in this together so we just got to be able to you know be willing to learn you know what i mean be willing to learn a lot of different things be willing to learn to change for the better be willing to learn to love everybody you know as yourself and hopefully you know you love yourself you know outstandingly but you know if not you know hey get from over her and if not you know you just find a way to be able to um, you know, learn how to love, you know, learn how to love God, love yourself, love, you know, people around you, because I think truly everybody cares for something. It might not be a person, but I think somebody, anybody in the world, in the world care for something, you know, somebody, something, an animal, you know, plants, whatever it may be, something that has life in it. And, uh, yeah, so. Big love language. Yeah. Love language is important. And I'm glad I was able to, you know, on our journey to be able to grow and learn different things. And, you know, I've had to go from, you know, my wife, she likes gifts and that type of stuff. You know, she likes, she does a lot for people. So she likes to be able to, you know, have, have the understanding that she's appreciated. You know, so I had to go even learn how, you know, it's not just about buying gifts. Like my wife said, you know, doing stuff, doing, you know, maybe cooking dinner this night and my wife tired or something. You know what I mean? A little small to help out, you know. Just showing that you care for your person, or even like she said, homemade gift. You know, just having put a thought into something. You know, not just going to buy something. You know, like but. the time you stopped on the side of the road and brought me flowers, like like you didn't pay for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like you just yeah. brought me flowers and made me, it made me happy. Yeah. But, you know, I just try to, you know, I try to do my part. But it's all about, like I said, growing and learning every day. It's a journey. You know, with my, with my, myself, my wife, as herself as an individual, and then us as parents. We're growing every day as parents. We're growing every day as husband and wife. You know what I mean? We're growing every day as a family. Our daughter should be one. Our younger daughter should be one in a couple of weeks from now. And like I said, it's like, you know, it's like, it seemed like the other day I was doing an episode um, thanking the doctors and stuff, you know, at the, at the hospital for, you know, 
having a great delivery and you know the great delivery team all that type of stuff and you know look where we not well, look where we are now and we've had a lot of growth during that time we, we learned a lot you know and that's what it's about so just be willing to learn you know ask your partner what what a love language is you you've seen your partner happy you know what you know makes, makes them happen, happy you know what i mean so whether it's touch yeah, words, yeah. telling them something nice like yeah. giving them encouragement um Give them a hug, um, buying them a gift. What else? Yeah. What's the other one? Mm-hmm. Oh, remember. Going out your way instead of playing games, spending time with them. Yeah, yeah. Like, just make it, you know, just you know, you try to do your part, you know, do your best to make yourself feel important, but make your your partner, make your children feel important. Whoever it is, like I said, you care about, make them feel important, man. Because it's not about feeling important because they are important. You know, you got something that you know, you got to have the genuineness behind it to let them know that they are important. That you are important, you know what I mean? So, Taking yeah. the kids to the park, you know, getting the wife to the nap, like, something like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, yeah, no, saying I, like, yeah. a lot of women like that, like, don't get, like, too much stuff. Yeah. Or for the man, like... Yeah, stuff you, you know, roll up with your kids, man. Whatever it's gonna be, you know, before be a, don't be just be a a baby daddy, be a father, man. You know what I mean? Step, you know, be a part of your kids' lives, man. It's 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 such a blessing oh, to be able to see your children grow, so man. Good. And and like you said, to be able to learn what they love to do, learn who they are, learn what they want to be, you know, all that type of stuff. Yeah. So um, yeah, man, make sure y'all follow follow me on Spotify. I definitely appreciate it. You know, follow us on Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. All that good stuff. Shout out to the country of Greece. Um, Greece will be, I will be uh, featuring them on Fun Fact Friday this week coming up. Still there. one of my countries that I really want to go visit. Yeah, we will, we will be there. We will be making a trip there in, in the future um, to definitely, you know, see those, see the beautiful sands and the water they have and the culture, all that good stuff in Greece. So um, thank y'all for y'all love and support on my podcast. Again, I look forward to speaking uh, speaking about y'all this Friday coming up on Fun Fact Friday. And like my wife said, we definitely, you know, we look forward to being able to come see you all's country and, and, and um, you know, enjoy our time there. And, you know, like I tell all my countries that follow my podcast, the main thing for me is to be able to, you know, give God praise in that country where I am and definitely, you know, be able to put it on my podcast to show that I'm physically there, you know, where y'all support me and I appreciate y'all. So, you know, it's coming, you know, y'all just stay tuned. Like I said, for all these countries, you know, I definitely, that's what my plan to be able to you know, touch down to where all y'all are anyway, but not because, you know, not just because of my podcast, just because we love to travel and we, you know, we, we love to be able to experience and learn different things, be, a, be you know, be um, acquainted with different cultures and things of that nature. I love it, you know, so, but y'all be blessed, man. Y'all have a great day. I'm looking forward to being able to spend some time uh, with our family this, after, this evening or afternoon um, well, for, for Sunday dinner, so that'll be pretty dope, uh, but you know, make sure y'all get your word in. I was reading out the book of Deuteronomy this morning. You know, if you, if you, you know, whatever you, you go to church on Sundays or you, you know, you meditate, you pray, whatever it is, you know, whatever you do to be able to get closer to God on, on these days and your time, and you just make sure you do that. But we love y'all. We appreciate y'all. Again, man, love languages. Learn them to master them, master the language, and, you know, we just go forward. So we'll see y'all, trip y'all tomorrow for Meditation Monday. And um, I love y'all. Peace. Peace.